So we all need a way to manage our, you know, our loop libraries here. So this is Loop Cloud from Loop Masters. This is an absolutely free sample library manager management system here. As you can see, these loops here, because of the uh, cloud on them there, these are stored in the cloud right now. And we can actually claim this free content. You just, you know, add that free content to your library. But one of the cool things about uh, this uh, sample manager, this library manager here, is you can actually add your own sample. So here's my sample library. You can see by the disk icon, you can just, of course, you know, all of this stuff, instead of having to step through here and trying to find all of my samples, I can find them all in here. And one really cool thing about this is whenever you add your own library, look at what it does here. All of these were tagged by key, by instrument, by format, content type, genres, labels, you know, so on and so forth. That all happened automatically. Now it took a while because I have, you know, I have a ton of samples here but uh, it all happened automatically. And that's, that's pretty cool because it makes searching so much easier. So if I'm looking for drums, just choose the drum tag there. Maybe I want to narrow that down to just kicks. Come through here, find my kicks, listen to them. Right, makes it much, much easier to find exactly what you want. Let's remove those there. We could also, if you want to change your tags, just choose your pencil icon there. You can change your tags uh, there however you want. We could, of course, search our library. So uh, what about whooshes? So I use just the whoosh there. Search for whoosh. Going to use a lot of whooshes whenever we're in Media Composer, for example. So let's find some whooshes here. It's a pretty cool one. Much easier than having to come in here through these folders and trying to find things. Tons of whooshes. So say we really like that one. How would I actually use that in Media Composer? Well, pretty simple. Just grab my original here or the process. We'll get to that in just a second. But the original, I'm just going to drag it, drop it right here into Media Composer. And right there it is, ready for me to use. Let me adjust it a little bit here turn it down a little bit here and we'll come forward a little and we'll just go ahead and pop that into our session and right there it is ready to use right here in media composer so your sample manager here is useful for more than just music creation it's also useful for video creation we can of course you know resize this however uh, however we want all right so just keep that in mind now what about pro tools let's open up pro tools here now they have a little plug in here that you can use if you want. You don't have to use this part, but you can actually connect this to, uh, to Pro Tools as, as well. Let me get rid of this uh, whoosh search there. We don't need that. Maybe mixed. Let's find, oh, something in here. It doesn't matter. Come down here to some beats. Okay, so what if I want to connect this to Pro Tools? Well, I can just click this button right here connected to our DAW plugin and connected to Pro Tools. Now it's time stretching this uh, loop there. Maybe you saw that. So now it's 125 and that's our tempo here in Pro Tools as well. That's pretty cool. So if I play back within this here, all right, it's playing back. We can see that in Pro Tools and it's locked to our to our session there, so that's pretty cool. We can also untick that, so we can, of course, have free range with this. So, let's grab this. What if I want to change that pitch? Well, I can do that here. Boom. Even. That's pretty cool, but let's go to something else here. Let's go to uh, some, what do we say we go to some atmosphere? Let's just click this atmospheres. That's pretty cool, right? Auto key. Maybe we want to change this to uh, E. The octave. All right. So say we like that. What we what we did to it there. Just grab the processed version. We can drop this right into Pro Tools. You can drop it on a track, or you can of course drop it down to a, a gray area. Okay. And of course. 
immediately uh, play that back and use it. Of course, I can also drag the original in here as well. Grab that original. And there's the original instead of the uh, processed. Right. So a great loop library manager or sample library manager uh, with a lot of options, especially that, that option that allows you, uh, you know, to put your own samples in here because a lot of sample managers might charge for that. Well, this one here is absolutely free. And of course, it's useful for more than just, you know, making your beats or whatever. And you could always come in here and find, say, drum fills and start. Right. You could grab that, of course, pro that, throw that into, uh, you know, Pro Tools if you wanted to. But it's also useful for things like video production uh, as well. And it has a, quite a lot of features for an absolutely uh, free program. You know, I can search by loops. I can search by one shots if I want. I could come to genres and search, labels and search, key and BPM. I can just say choose a key. So C, I can get rid of the drum fills there. And look for things that are tagged with C. Now I could do something pretty cool here with this pattern. So now, right, that's pretty cool. You can do all kinds of stuff with this and see we have that kick pattern on right now. Go to seconds. If I like that, I can just drag it right out into Pro Tools. You can even drag it out onto your uh, onto your desktop if you want. Or of course into Media Composer, Premiere, whatever uh, you happen to be using. Turn that auto off there. Maybe pitch it down a bit. Pretty cool, maybe uh, double that speed. Really cool stuff you can do here. Major, minor, whatever you want to do, man. Pretty cool stuff. And again, it's absolutely free. If you are looking for samples, you can always head over to the store. This is all integrated within this one application, Loop Cloud. And you can, of course, start sampling things. If you want to buy them, you can, of course, buy them right uh, within here, which is pretty neat. Also, you will get some free samples. If you don't have a lot of samples, not a problem. You know, Loop Masters will give you. Uh, um, some uh, free content. And I believe you get free content every month as well. You can get this, by the way, right here. This link will be in the uh, description below. As you can see, Loop Cloud users, one gig welcome pack of samples or of sounds and 150 samples per week. That's pretty cool. So go ahead and download this if you're looking for a sample library manager for Pro Tools, for Media Composer, your, your music work, or your. Uh, uh, video work. These things come in handy, much easier than trying to, you know, have some media player open and, uh, you know, digging through your files. Uh, a lot of features, tags, everything's tagged, search your library, search by genre, labels, instruments, so on and so forth. So again, just head to the description below. Make sure you go ahead and download Loop Cloud today.